You need to have command presence. In other words, if you look like you know what you're doing and you act like you're willing to do it, okay, most people won't fuck with you. You stand around lovingly, okay, and they're just like, oh, well, oh, go away and leave me alone, okay? You're hurting my feelings, oh, please, I'm a snowflake, I'll fucking melt, okay? Really? Okay? Then someone's probably gonna melt your snow, kick your ass, steal all your shit, stab you in the fucking heart, cut your head off and shit in the hole. Then you'll be another piece of meat and fertilizer for the garden, okay? If you get a set of nuts, regardless of your gender, and stand up, you're gonna die anyway someday, all of you. Ain't a son of a bitch here gonna get off the planet alive, okay? I'm not gonna die on my knees, fuck that, okay? And I'm not gonna die like all those guys in the orange suit sitting on a beach, shot in the back of the head. Fuck that, jump up, kick somebody in the balls, headbutt the motherfucker, break his nose, okay? Do something, okay? But like, uh, really? No. Well, their society, that's why it's a fucked up society based on a bunch of pedophilers and goat fuckers, okay? And everybody's kneeling there, got shot in the head, happy meal for me, okay? It's so just another one we'll have to deal with later, okay? People go, that's really tacky, really? What do you think's gonna happen here, okay? Not being ugly, okay? So visually and verbally, get a set of balls. If you got a gun, okay? If you got a small gun, what's the point, all right? So like, I don't get it, people carry a gun. This is my backup gun, really, a backup gun. Okay, so here's the thought. If you take this big fucking gun out and it takes a shit, okay, and you need a second gun, why would you draw a second gun that's smaller than the first gun? That's like having Ken in the fight and shit goes south and you get fucking Barbie out. <laughs> when you get the second gun, the second gun should be as big, if not bigger than the first fucking gun that you had. The second gun should come out with a set of wheels. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What the fuck is up with this? Oh, this is my bug gun. Bug? Now, if you had a Tyrannosaurus Rex that jumped out of your holster, and that bitch ran down range and bit the fucking guy's head off and drug the meat back and threw him on the fucking ground, the guy goes, well, you know, if, if I carry a second gun and it's big, it's uncomfortable. When the fuck did comfort come into carrying a gun and saving your life? What, what, where did that, who, who thought that up? Whoever thought that up should be stabbed in the fucking heart, okay? With a big knife. Why, why do you need to be comfortable? When you're trying to save your life, right? Isn't that, wasn't that the point of carrying the gun? Hello? Carrying the gun, right? Save my life. Oh, this is not comfortable. You know, I live in Texas and it's very warm, right? I was just in California. What a shithole. It's 110, okay? You know those hand job things that they wear, the, with those put over their heads or hot jobs or whatever? I mean, I had one on my head covered in ice the whole time I was there. I was like, <laughs> I still had two guns, and both of them were big, okay? And I wasn't comfortable at all, but I still had two guns and a rifle. It's California. <laughs> Not comfort, people. What, where did that come from? Okay. Please? 